Hello everyone, as you can see, we have another Star Wars The Black Series figure in front of us. This time it is Crosshair, and it's the Imperial version of Crosshair uh, from Star Wars The Bad Batch. Uh, if you missed my last video, I just um, did Vi uh, Vice Admiral Rampart. Um, again, both of these Walmart exclusives pre-orders that were completely back-ordered. Uh, so if you missed Rampart's video, I'll leave a link to it up there. Um, but uh, what we're gonna do is go ahead and take a look at the outside of the box here. Go ahead and a box crosshair here. Take a look at his articulation, take some pictures, come back, talk about some of the things that we liked and or disliked about the figure. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at crosshair. All right, so let's take a look at the outside of the box, like I said. Uh, so, uh, we've got the red slash maroon color across the bottom here. Uh, we can see that we've got Crosshair's sniper rifle and his pack. Uh, maybe a sidearm there too, which is interesting that they've got it holstered. They don't normally do that when they ship it. And then we've got the, the mural look there. Across the back, we can see that he is number nine in the Bad Batch line. And then on the back, it says, formerly a member of the Bad Batch, Crosshair's loyalties shift after his team defects from Imperial service. Committed to the Empire, Crosshair leads a new squad of enlisted recruits. And then followed along there. So, all right, so let's go ahead and unbox him. And as we do, we're going to go from the bottom. Just like that. If you have any questions as we're going through here, make sure to ask down below. Don't need this guy. There we go. Staying very careful with his helmet. Like that so far. All right. Looking forward to taking a closer look here at Crosshair. Uh, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get everything cleaned up here and I'll be right back. All right, so we got Crosshair unpacked here. Speaking of packing, let's take a look at his pack. As you can see, we've got uh, where part of his rifle would go in there and then the, the barrel would go there and then the, um, the peg for his back. Not really much to say about this. It, it's very similar to the other uh, crosshair. Then we've got his rifle. Again, it's it's pretty plain looking. I wish they would do something on it. I don't know what, but maybe some matte versus gloss. I don't know. It just looks eh. Uh, but the uh, the barrel does come off and uh, it does fit inside here. And we'll take pictures of it. And then we've got a peg here. Um, and that basically just goes right there. So... That's how that goes. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at Crosshair's other weapon, his sidearm here. Again, very basic, not much to talk about. I do like how his belt is not attached to him, so it's actually more realistic. His helmet should come off. There we go. And there we go with Crosshair. But let's go ahead and take a look at his helmet first. And obviously the viewfinder is able to articulate. So let's go ahead and see what we got. Head all the way down, really good movement there. Head all the way up, feels like it just cracked, popped off. That's not a good sign. That's not a good sign at all. Hmm, have to figure that guy out. That's not good at all. Feel like I popped his head right off. Uh, have to find that joint. I have to find that joint and get it to fit in. Uh, but uh, that's all right. We'll come back to that shoulder. That's gonna be a little limited here. That that'll go all the way up. Ooh, that head's a little disconcerting. Uh, <laughs> fix that. Uh, it's about as I don't know. I don't want to mess with it too much. There we go. And so we got good movement there. And we're able to get our full 90 there. Full 90 there. So happy with that movement. 
that head. Oof. Okay. Uh, all the movement on the arm is going to be coming from the elbow. We've got a left, right. This is an up, down movement at the torso is good. Not going to be limited by the belt. Good movement there. Looks like a single knee and that's that. All right. So I'll be right back. What we'll do is hopefully I'll be able to pop his head back into place and then uh, we'll go ahead and take some pictures and we'll be right back. All right, so that was crosshair. Uh, I was not able to get his head back on. <laughs> so a little disappointing. So just be careful when you do unbox them. I don't know what was going on with it. Hopefully if I maybe heat it up a little bit, I'll get, be able to snap it back into place. We'll see what happens. Um, other than that, I mean, I think it's a good looking figure. Uh, I'm happy with all the Bad Batch figures that are coming out. I'm just upset that they are Walmart exclusives. I hate the Walmart and Target exclusives. Uh, that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's a good looking figure. So uh, if you have any questions about them, make sure to ask down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to the, uh, the channel, I invite you to do so. We do lots of things on the channel that a professional geek might find interesting, including Star Wars and Star Wars the Black Series, which we have more Black Series figures coming soon. And then also going to theme parks, home automation, electronics, gaming, all sorts of other stuff as well. So if any of that interests you, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. And with that, have a great day. Mm -hmm.